Yeah, we got a win! Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to watch Hello Good Game, the best Magic the Gathering arena channel for beginners and free-to-play individuals alike. Today we are playing Is Instances Upgrade Guide. This was um, a follow-up video to our free-to-play Is It Flyer and Instant Spell deck, which was posted yesterday, I believe. If you've not seen it and you are a free-to-play individual who might be interested in playing that version rather than the upgraded version, link is in the description below here. Um, if you find any value within this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and share it to your friends. As always, we're going to take a look at the deck list, talk about and break down the deck synergies and strategies, and then kind of talk about our plays while we are going through our gameplay footage from the day. Finally, we come full circle with my closing thoughts. So don't forget to watch to the end to catch those. Let's get right into it though. The deck starts out with four copies of Spectral Sailor, our first one drop. It's a one one with flash and flying we can pay for to draw a card. Four copies of Opt, an instant, scry one, draw a card. Four copies of Shock, another instant, Shock deals two damage to any target. Moving on to our two drops, we have four copies of Sprite Dragon or Dorat the Perfect Pet, a 1-1 one, one with Flying and Haste. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Sprite Dragon. Two copies of Tail's End, an instant, counter target activated ability, triggered ability, or legendary spell. Moving on to our three drops, four copies of Brazen Borrower, a 3-1 with Flash and Flying. Brazen Borrower can block only creatures with Flying. It has an Instant Adventure tagged to it called Petty Theft for 2. Return target non-land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. 4 copies of Flame Sweep, another instant. Flame Sweep deals 2 damage to each creature except for creatures you control with flying. 2 copies of Risk Factor, an instant with Jumpstart. Jumpstart means you may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other's costs and then you exile it. So target opponent may have risk factor deal 4 damage to them. If that player doesn't, you draw 3 cards. 4 copies of Ionize, another instant counter target spell. Ionize deals 2 damage to that spell's controller. Finally, we move on to our 6 drop. It is Niv-Mizzet Paron, a 5-5 five five with flying. This spell can't be countered. Whenever you draw a card, Niv-Mizzet deals 1 damage to any target. And whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery, you draw a card, which is, that's just awesome. Another draw engine, who doesn't want that? These spells are accompanied by 10 islands, 12 mountains, and four steam vents. So that's the deck list. Let's break down the strategy, maybe some of the uh, intricate plays that you're gonna find within uh, the interactions between this deck and the meta. So it is pretty similar to what we played yesterday. Um, we're trying to get flyers, deal an uh, absurd amount of damage. We did change up a few things. We had Double Strike and Inferior Rate in play yesterday. We've subbed that for a more counter-based deck uh, where we're using things like Ionize to counter target spell, deal two damage, so chip damage plus countering um, their required spells because there's so many decks right now other than the Luris deck that require on one huge spell for a big payoff, right? Like you can counter a Zenith Flare. <laughs> You're just laughing, right? Or a Fires, for example. We also have Tails End, which is really good. Um, this can counter some tricky things for us. Uh, for instance, Priests of the Forgotten Gods. We absolutely cannot stand that. So this is basically for that, but it can be for other things as well. There's plenty of legendaries in the meta. Brazen Borrower has been added. It has Flash and Flying, so that fits the mold perfectly. We can bounce our opponent's permanence, which is very, very helpful if we're under fire uh, to just get those out of the way, especially because it's a two cost. So we can bounce something that's going to hurt us. And then we can counter it next turn, hopefully, with our Ionize. Most of the deck just relies around having a little bit of chip damage each turn through your flyers. I like to prioritize my shocks for creature or planeswalker removal. It's not really worth it just dealing two damage to your opponent unless it's the last two damage he needs to be taking. Spectral Sailor has the draw engine, which is really great. So we rarely cast spells on our own turn. That's going to be the biggest thing here. The only spell I think we cast on our own turn is the Sprite Dragon and then Niv-Mizzet. So only two 
cards in the entire deck get cast on our turn. So everything is being played on your opponent's turn. You're activating your Spectral Sailor on your opponent's end step if you didn't have to counter or deal with anything, right? If you have the mana still available. Flame Sweep is a great way, great way to deal with all of the aggro decks. It's pretty basic. We had some really good matches with the deck, and then we got pummeled for a while by just these top meta decks, and then we closed out with a nice win as well. So, with that all being said, you guys, I'm live on Twitch every single day, 6 a.m. PST. I'd appreciate your company. I also have a bang in Discord in which you should join with over a thousand members, all skill levels from beginner to expert. So it's a great way to get advice or even just to share your experience for a game that we all love, right? I also have the YouTube channel with daily uploads with deck guides just like this. If you wanted to check that out, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video to a friend and hit the bell icon so you're notified of our future uploads. I think that basically covers it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate all of you who continue to show your support for me and this channel. That's awesome. Oh, one last thing. Don't forget to check out our free to play beginner's handbook link in the description below. If you're interested in any free to play decks with upgrade guides, and uh, there's a bunch of other resources in there as well, draft guides, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So be sure to check that out because there's a lot of really helpful resources uh, within that. And I made that for you guys as a community. So thanks for watching. Again, I appreciate you. Take care. Make sure to watch to the end because I'm going to come back with some closing thoughts, some exciting news, and we'll talk to you in a little bit. All right. Hand actually looks fine as long as it's not a control deck. Huh? Let's risk it for the biscuit. Normally we fake the shock, but we actually have it this time. All right, our first counter's up. We're gonna play the long con here, right? Counting on a storm fist to help us draw land. We have Borrower and Tails End available. That's a creature. I'm I'm not too concerned. Sorry, bro. Let's chill out again. We can flash our borrower in worst case. I don't think we need to aggro in yet. Toss it back up. Nice. Alright, all I need is one more island. Phoenix of Ash is fine. He takes the scry. That's fine. Stays to the top, so it's got to be good. Let's just bounce it. Right. This is better. Now we have a creature that can power up, finally. He's got plenty of land, though. We need to hit another island. Alright, there's the phoenix.
let's just hit him with the heater. Oh, nice. Okay, so worst case scenario, we're flashing in our borrowers. Really? He's going to exile his other phoenix? Just to have this one die. I'm interested. Right, just holding on, trying to get that land. Ugh. It's the wrong color. Let's pass again. Eighteen life, still all right. In all honesty, kind of want to pull out those other cards from his hand, though. Is the thing. I'm gonna take the damage here. It's only one, and he wants to ember cleave. We should just counter that. Right, that's better than anything. Get it off the field, because it's an easy re-equip. And then we can't double sweep, so we may as well save it. The land is nice. We're in a position to pay for it. And now we have our Nib out. It should be safe. Right, he played his Murderous Rider preemptively. So he's lost his destroy effect. No blocks, he can do as he will. Okay. If he had another Embercleave, he could even toss that on. But we're just gonna double flame sweep. Uh, I think that's better than any uh, mystery tricks that he may have. Let's... Oh, we should have done the... We can still do it, that's fine. A little bit of damage, I'm not gonna lie. One to the rider. We take four to the chinny chin. And now we can do our own thing. We get the, let's just try to cycle some stuff, right? Uh, let's go up top there with that. Land can go to the bottom. Draw a card, which is an opt. Let's just kill him this way. Right, and then we're saving our flame sweeps. That's going to be fine. Sailors can stay to the top. I love creatures. And we start dealing damage to our opponent now. We have the ability only to put in a small amount. So we're going to actually not attack here. And our turn. Just hold up our flame sweep, right? Uh, we can double cast that. But we want to hold up six mana for the double cast in case... He can get some sort of shenanigans in play. It's better to deal 4 damage than just 2. Here comes the Phoenix, which is acceptable. Right? Into Dreadhorde Butcher. So at this point, we want to exercise our double flame sweep. Actually, we don't even have to double because of Niv Mizzet. When we draw, it triggers the damage. So with Flame Sweep and Niv, we're dealing three damage with one Flame Sweep. That's awesome. That's so deadly. And now this is sad. We can off and do, do some shenanigans, I guess. Shock can stay to the top. I love damage. 
especially low mana casting damage. All right, let's throw that in. More draws, more direct damage. We're down to four. Don't appreciate that. I think we might have forgot to play our sailors there too. Totes, my goats, my bad. And let's smash home. Right, and our turn. Good game. Nice. Alrighty. Three land, one drop, one drop, two drop. Nuke. We need a another island for our three drop. There it is. Get that damage going. He is playing Jessikai to Fairy. Ouch. That definitely sucks. The only thing that might save us here is our Niv Mizzet. I don't know. Not a pleasant situation to be with a Teferi on board as an instant deck, right? That's like real bad. He could have instant speeded that with his Teferi. Just saying. Just saying. Two more turns till our Niv. Let's try this. Oh, brutal. Narset sucks. And well, I'd say that this match is over. I'm just debating whether I cry now or later. Let's see if we can get rid of the Teferi. Oh, he's gonna try to protect it with the shark. What a guy. What a guy. I also believe that doesn't count as part of his drops. Ugh. Narset only costing four is pretty powerful. And then he's just gonna like kill our borrower here. Brutal. Brutality. Um, yeah, this match definitely not working out as good as our first match, but we didn't play a top tier deck our first match either. Okay, I don't think that's going to help us too much, but we got another turn. I've got it. He'll have to Teferi minus to zero to kill our Niv, I guess. Hopefully he just keeps choking on lands, that's all we can pray for. He's even been cycling. 
Wow. I'm embarrassed that we're getting smashed out. Good game. That's it. That's it. We do have ionizes for counter spells. This isn't Super Friend City. We are about to get bashed and dashed, you guys. Down to six life. About to top deck a land. Let's set our stop. Oh, it didn't it didn't trigger. Normally we do a little visualization there, so we get rid of our land, push all of our land to the bottom. But here it goes in stunning fashion. Oh, he just, he just takes a slow, smart guy. Going first is big help. This land is kind of whack. We can't really even use our brazen borrower. So I think I'm going to toss it. This looks a lot better. Keep six, toss an island. Let's just get that out of there, right? Get it out of the way. Goblin Palm is investigating our steam vent. Hopefully, now just hopefully there's no removal. And even if it does, it pushes him into removal rather than um, like an aggression mode. He can't play offensive when he's stuck removing. We really want to save our flame sweep to like the last moment of death. And hopefully just pull some more lands for this Niv. We can flash in our borrower now. Finally, we get some more land. Having to deal with this Phoenix of Ash, though, right? We could flash our Borrower in for the block. We could Flame Sweep. Let's get rid of that. We have our Ionize to hold up while we look for more land. We also have an Opt to use this turn. I can't stand Red Horde Butcher. He just puts his Black Lance in. We pull another Flame Sweep, that's awesome.
Mmm. You gotta love Flame Sweep, don't you? Just one more land! I mean, having two Niv in hand is unlikely, so normally we should have more in-game interaction. We have less cards in hand than he does, so that's fine. This is good, actually. It has haste. Yikes. That's a big hit. We're lucky enough to get a land. I don't know if it's going to save us, though. We're in a scary spot, that's for certain. Oh, and he's got a Murderous Rider. Cry. That makes me so sad. And into a Rampage. This guy is slaying us. He pulls our next flame sweep, which we would have been saved by. We would have been saved by that flame sweep. And now we're just gonna die. Cry. Oh my gosh. Embarrassing. I can't believe we couldn't get that flame sweep. Dirty, dirty, dirty dog. Alright, we got crushed here. This hand is bonk. I mean, the Spectral Sailors sure are nice, but... I just, I don't see it for the long con. This, however, this is something I can definitely get behind. Mm. Potentially. That's a different deck, though. This deck focuses around flyers and instances. It's probably Rakdos. Okay, Demir. Into a Thought Erasure. Yikes. Guaranteed he takes our Borrower or our Iron Eyes. It's a nice hand, right? He's really got the pick of the litter. <laughs> he does take our perfect pet. He might try to Thought Raise the Ion Eyes away. We know he's got uh, Planeswalkers, so we want to save our Ion Eyes for such. It's gonna be weird. Demir is tough. As long as he doesn't play Narset, I'll be happy, right? I want to get some draws for my. Well, I guess we could do it on his turn. So Narset wouldn't really affect us. Red Grixis. Uh oh. Uh oh. Interesting. He's only got the walkers in his grave, though, so we're okay there.
So we're spending his mana. Or else he can make Lazlov become uh, his Kroxa. Because it goes to his grave. Another Luka? Come on, bro. He's got uh, an Ashiok, a Luka, a Kroxa, a Luka, a Laslov. This guy. Main phase is fine. Let's take the land. Not good, I'll tell you that much. Our best bet is to pull another island, get our borrower in here, and just try to kill him. Yeah, here comes Kroxa. Right? Isn't that disgusting? have to use three flame sweeps to kill it now what we need is a brazen borrower off the top something like this i feel like he's got removal don't you dare bro wow Ouch. We need to find another borrower. He's going to play Kroxa on top of his Kroxa to make me discard my risk factor. <laughs> Dirty dog. I like that. Oh, and he can have multiple copies because it's still named Lazov. That's awesome. Uh, just getting hit for a casual 12, uh, plus 6. Yeah, he takes the damage, so I can't even discard. So he's hitting us for 18. Oh my god, you guys. What a bad, bad man. Ouch. This hand's disgusting. We've had such bad luck today, it's not even funny. Wow, look at us go. Let's throw Niv away for now. It's too late game. He still gets a draw. Oh no. Leave our creatures alone. Just be an aggro player. Right. Play a light at the stage. That's fun. Yeah, Ember Cleave's nice. <laughs> oh no. Okay.
Okay, let's see if we can pull some more instances with our risk factor. Ah, Torbrand wins in the game. I was like, well, maybe I can just chump block and still win, but Torbrand's going to make Robert do excessive amounts of damage. Oh, and an Infuriate. That's hot. I don't know, you guys. Can't win a game today. My apologies. <sighs> Last game of the day, you guys. I'm tired of getting stomped. It's Gruda too. Love it. Yeah, the update for Historic Anthology 3 is out. He thinks we're mono blue, we could have a counter spell. And now he's waited so long to do anything, we will. Three flame sweeps. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This was Is Instances Upgrade Guide or our Is It Flyer and Spells. I think it underperforms, but I think we got smashed by the meta. Sorry about that, it's fiddling. <laughs> I don't know, I think we could fine tune it a little bit, but I think if we get any more competitive, we're moving away from our deck theme into just an Is It Tempo deck which is totally fine. We could do that as well. I think it's just a different build. So some exciting news for those of you who've watched to the very end. We didn't have a winner for our laptop giveaway. I guess Magic Craig, if you're out there, you can still claim it. But I don't think you're going to. If you would have, it should have happened by now. People don't just like forget to claim a laptop for free. You know what I mean? So we've got to re-give it away. So join our Discord and check out uh, our competitions and giveaways tab. We're gonna have news for everybody to win this laptop. I'm gonna open it up absolutely to everybody. So check out the Discord, join the Discord, and yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, live on Twitch, blah, 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 blah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. We'll see you all tomorrow with another free-to-play deck.